Okay, should be live right now, so... Hi guys, welcome back to some more... Wonder Song. Uh, last time, if you remember, it actually wasn't that long ago. So we were... What were we doing? We were, um... Helping... Well, well, we got into, like, this area with two kingdoms who have been fighting for generations and we're trying to stop them, and obviously... One side calls the other, uh, says that the other has witches and that they're summoning monsters. And after getting into some trouble in the first kingdom, we fled to the second one, uh, discovering that there are actually witches there. But apparently the monsters are plaguing them as well. So apparently something bigger is uh, happening here. Uh, we did fail, oh no, we did get part of the, the song that we need to cross into the... Um, the spirit dimension here, but we, the other part is with the other king, so that's where we're heading to now. We had some witches help us and drop us on this ferry, which and we're heading to the capital right now. <sighs> Sigh. I didn't realize the capital was still so far. We're gonna be on this boat all day. It's just like when we were pirates. Oh, yeah, I remember that. Remember that, Miriam? No. I completely forget. I must have hit my head. Many times. Yeah, we hung out with pirates. And they really liked coffee, and... Oh. You're joking. Sometimes I wish you were too. I've never been to Chandesh. Is it where all witches are from? I wonder if my parents ever lived here. It's a little weird. I've never really been around other witches before. Grandma Safi told me there was a kingdom of witches. Never crossed my mind to go, though. Back in Delphi, I was the only witch. It made me kind of special. This whole kingdom feels like a big club that I was never invited to. I'm just gonna stay here and avoid talking to anyone. Okay, that's cool. Can we jump? No, nope. we can't jump down there. We can go in there. God, I'm assuming that's the captain or the owner of the boat. Let's talk to them first. Hello. I do apologize if I seem distra- I don't know how to do a, like, a deep, womanly voice. I do apologize if I seem distracted. I'm in a bit of a pickle, you see. I'm in charge of the musical entertainment this evening, but I forgot the most crucial element. Music. The band has no score to play. Oh! Yes, yes. They're all preparing in their quarters now. But they must be as bamboozled as I am. Hmm. Layla. Appropriate. Well, we could... No, no, not that. But what if... Hmm. The only solution that comes to mind would be if we improvised a new score to play. But, oh, what a gamble. If only we had a composer on board. Press play that? No, I guess not. Anyway, what's in here? Oh, these are probably the musicians. Oh, damn. Okay, keeps going. Uh, what about the other door? It probably leads to like the same place, different floor. That's my guess. Mm, yeah, seems like it. Okay, well, he looks like a composer. Hello. You know. I don't seem, I don't seem to recall seeing you on this vessel. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, I've definitely been around. Just another witch from Chandesh. That's me. Most peculiar. Well, 
You don't need to answer this. But I must ask, are you a member of the Spell Squad? What? Of course. How rude of me to be so direct. I shan't ask more of it, Rudolph. Us civilians don't really know much, mind. Only theories and rumors. They say that Ro was behind the princess's disappearance. And that she's no longer living. You really needn't confirm or deny anything. Your silence says it all. I'm sorry if my questioning has bothered you. Your secrets are safe with me. Really, I'm thankful for the great work the squad does. All while hiding plainly among us. I think we're done with him. Uh, let's start with the doors then. Oh, it's a sweet old lady. Oh, oh. you spooked me. Why would you just run into someone's cabin? Well, it so happens that I have a problem right now. I'm singing for the band performing this evening. But our conductor lost the music. Shame. What do you know about music? I can write it. Is that so? Well, I'll have you know, my part is the absolute most important. I'm dead middle, part two of three. I have to keep the audience interested, all while filling in the real meat of the song. If you can write for that, then let's see what you got. Uh... Yeah, yeah, and it fades into the like the third part, sure. Yes, sure, why not? Well, 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 not bad. Don't forget the rest of the band now, too. Sure, Matilda. This is the middle part. Sounds good. Why, thank you. Okay, who's in here? Uh-huh, accordion player. Hola. If for the show this evening, I mean the band, you know. And my part is the most important. I'm the last to play. The big finale. I'm the part everyone remembers long after the show. It must be exciting to meet me, oi? Yes, tell me more. Well, I was born just a normal witch in Moabumi, but I always knew I was destined for greatness. Anyway, enough of that. Our conductor lost the score for tonight. But it's no big deal. I'll be winging it. Wish me luck in the show tonight. Fernando. Hola. Just waiting for the show tonight. I'm writing your part. What? You? Think you can make something worthy of the big finale? Well, let's see what you got.
Yeah, sure, why not? This is it. No sweat. Looks like we got ourselves a finale. Let's go to make sure the band's with us. Sure. Okay, so we did all those guys. Another door here. Probably the... F oh, it's locked. Okay. I guess that's for later then. So who's this dude? What are you headed to Maha Maha Mahabumi for? I was out in the boonies visiting family personally. I can't wait to get back home now. All the good stuff is in the city. Diva, of course. Or Deva. I'll call him Diva though. This boat ride is so dull. Someone told me there's a performance later, but then she got all mumbly and quiet. So I'm not really sure if there's one or not. Apparently someone famous is on the boat. I don't know who. Wasn't really paying attention. People just keep telling me things. I guess I have one of those faces that people want to tell things to. Okay, I guess that's... I guess the famous person is in the blocked cabin. I guess the guy here does the, the beginning part. Yep. Ahem. Hello. Oh, I'm the captain of this boat. And I'm also the marimba player in the band. Of the three parts, I go first. Because I'm the captain. And captains are the leader. It's easy to... It's easily the most important part of the performance. I have to capture the audience's interest and set up the rest of the song. If I don't have any music to play, perhaps... You could compose it for me? Sure. Most excellent. You have the floor. Wait, I fucked up. Mm hmm. Shall this be it? No, no, I fucked it up. Sure, whatever. That works. Yeah, and it leads into the... Th yeah, sure, why not? Yes! Most excellent. I believe I was the last one to need assistance. Now it's nearly time for the band to perform. Edgeward. This is my fart. My, my, my fart. This is my part, the first to play. Is it still to your liking? Yeah, sure. I must agree. Sure you do. And we still can't open this one, I guess. Nope. Alright, let's go talk to the conductor. Conductress, whatever. Layla. Well, goodness me! Miraculously, the band all has music to play. Won't you join us for the show then? Oh shit. Let's go. Uh, yeah, I'll do my best. We'll see. If you think I remember what I wrote. Oh, maybe I just need to, like, watch it. Ahem. Thank you for coming. On this empty boat with nothing else to do, may we now present to you our song, which somebody just made up today. Okay, he's a rocker. I get it now. Booyah. My goodness. Riveting. Oh, fuck her. So that's, okay. So that's the important person. I should have guessed. 
<laughs> Achievement unlocked slow clap. Bravo, bravo. Oh crap, it's oh. Miss Hero. We're so honored by your attendance. Oh no, no. The honor is all mine. But, you know, what I'm not honored by is the attendance of these criminals. Criminals? Yes, I'm afraid so. These rogues broke through the rules border, cheated their way into the king's court, and made a gateway for prison to hear. Well, they hate rule though, so shouldn't that be like a positive? They're fugitives from rule. Aren't these guys like Chandeshians? I can't believe how cool these punks are. Yeah, that's what I thought. What? They broke every rule in the book. I'll do subterfuge, boo. The scoundrels who took our beloved princess. An enemy of those villains is surely our friend. I'm, I forgot the voices. Guess that would explain some things. Like how we found her. But why would they do that? Don't you know? The people of Rule hate Chandesh. They do anything to get at us. Oh, Miss Hero! She must have retired for the evening. It certainly is getting late. As captain, I advise that all guests on, boat, on the boat take it easy and enjoy themselves tonight. Sure, dude. Sure. That night. Huh? What was that? Whoa! Oh. Wait. Minstrel. Is that the princess? I thought it was like our reflection calling us, but no. What? It's me. The princess. The ghost you met. You delivered my message to the king. Oh. You scared me. Yes, well, it's very hard not to do that when you're dead. Please, listen to me. I'm trapped in your body, and I still need your help. But I can help you, too. The queen. You need to speak with her, right? That's my mom. I need to talk to her too. Before the invasion tomorrow. Oops. But it won't be easy to get to her. Moabumi is a place for magical people. And you can't use magic, can you? Nope. Right. But if we work together, I think we can figure something out. I like teamwork. It's a bit new to me, but so is being dead. And I guess it hasn't stopped me yet. Sorry for, um, invading your body and then being trapped inside it. That was pretty rude. And you've already done so much for me. I realize I'm asking a lot. It's cool. It sounds like we need your help, too. Guess so. My name's Hala, by the way. Hala, at your girl. The city is just ahead. We're getting very close, everyone. As captain, I would recommend that we all prepare to disembark. Welcome to Muhabumi. Please take this complimentary guide map. Oh, sweet. Hold down. Oh, finally. Oh. Which. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. Hey! This map doesn't have anything on it. It will flood. Oh, shit! Spaghetti Boy! It's great to see you, dude. It's been a while. How you doing, man? It will fill itself. It will fill itself in as you visit different areas. Non-magical persons will have trouble accessing much of the city, so we do not clutter the map with places you cannot see. As you may have noticed, the city is entirely underground. We keep it lit by magical crystals. Visitors often find this unusual, but a vertically designed city is more space efficient. I'm okay, just feeling a bit bit down today, so I thought streaming might help. And convenient to navigate, if you can fly, that is. There's much to enjoy here in Mohabumi, even if you are not magical. The main marketplace is just ahead, and if you're interested in the study of magic, the academy is also on the ground floor. Okay, cool. Let's get going then, uh, while dancing. Are these the crystals? Oh! Oh, that's weird. Okay. Magic gift. Oh, it's the conductor. Conductress, whatever. Why, hello! Welcome to Mohabumi! The band is all dispersed now. But we really were big fans of your composition. Perhaps we'll save it for future shows. He. Anything else? Not to worry. We we'll won't be able to reach you here. Oh, Bumi is like a huge fortress. Although, hmm. You can't use magic, can you? You'll have a hard time getting around town on foot. I'm a complete fool for these shops. Every time I come, I feel I have to purchase something. Or two or three or four things. Mostly these shops are tourist traps for visitors, of course. The classier places are higher up in the city. Uh, I hope it didn't ha you didn't have to work today, Spaghetti, right? I hope like, you didn't go into the office but had some time to relax. But they're just so colorful and lovely. I suppose I really am easy. He. Okay, I guess that's it. Can I climb these? Nope. Room. Oh right, Miriam's broom broke. I guess they sell brooms in this witch city. Watch some random stuff on TV. Nice. What is this game about? Well, basically we play a bard uh, that wants to save the world. Basically in this world what happens is every... Uh, well, the, the world just keeps like rebooting every couple of... Uh, every couple thousand years. So, like, uh, every time the universe is created, there are these, um... I forgot what they're called, like, elders or something similar? Like, these beings that are responsible for the universe. And over time, they get corrupted and evil. So, eventually, a hero has to, like, come along and kill them to reset the universe. Like, end the universe, but have it start anew, and uh, have the new universe be okay again for a couple thousand years. So, we thought we were that hero, as the bard who can sing. But apparently no, apparently there's, there's this other bitch uh, who's called Audrey who is the real hero. She can actually use a sword and shit. She's also the only one that can get achievements. Like, I only get achievements for shit that she does, even though we don't control her for almost all of the game. Uh, so, and there is one way of saving the universe. And it's to, like, gather the all pieces of the Earth Song and then sing it in the spirit dimension. So right now we're trying to collect all the pieces of the Earth Song from those elder beings uh, before the hero kills all of them. And that's it. That's so. Right now we're uh, in between two kingdoms. We already that are uh, fighting each other for generations. We visited one kingdom, got one fragment of the song in this area, and now we're in the other one, trying to bring peace to the kingdoms and get the song piece, so we can try and actually save the universe, not like the hero. Don't know why I didn't think of that. And we're the bard right here, and this right next to us is Miriam, our uh, witchy friend, who joined us for the journey. They all look like crap, though. We don't have money, also. Oh, yeah. This always happens to us. How are we ever gonna get anywhere? A 
Apparently, if you can't fly, you can't even get to most of the city. Really missing my broom right now. I really wanted to see the city, too. I've never been around so many witches. One way or another, we have to meet the queen. She's got the Overseer song, right? Overseer, that's the Elder Being. That's their name that I forgot. Don't worry, Miriam. I have a plan. Really? To meet the queen? Mm-hmm. Huh. Okay. I'll work on getting a broom somehow. Sure, you do that and I'll actually get us a broom. Hello, yes. Please, please peruse my shops. I'm sure something will catch your eye. Let me know if you have any questions. Protul. These brooms are the finest in Mob Bumi. My family and I cut these ourselves by hand. They don't look that good. Then your eyes deceive you. Are you an actual witch by chance? These brooms aren't really intended for uh, actual flying. They are a collector's item for tourists. But they are still worth purchasing. And they make wonderful gifts. Okay, so this guy's actually useless. Oh. Oh, that's the, the dead princess that uh, we found her ghost and made friends with her and now she's inside us trying to end the war. So we're kind of into that as well. Hey. You can see me, right? We can only see her in reflections. I think I can talk through reflections. So that's handy. If you want to meet the queen, I have an idea of where to start. My sister is a student near here. She might know some way to the palace. I mark her on your map, okay? Uh, excuse me. Oh, uh, excuse me. Please refrain from talking to the mirrors. It looks creepy. But it didn't say anything. Oh, I should dance, I forget. Well, I could plainly hear you. Oops. Other people can hear me? This ghost thing takes some getting used to. Ahem! Okay, I like how my reflections are also dancing. That's cute. Okay, so we're high-fiving a million angels. Huh. Love dress. Oh, there's an old guy here, too. Step right up. Why not look here for some hot new threads? That outfit is cute, but maybe it's a bit dated? You'll find, you'll find something you love here. Yanni. The people of Mahabumi have the best fashion in the world. Ask anybody. We're famous for it. Don't you want to look fabulous too? Your little feather cap is the definition of cute. Where did you get it? Oh, thanks. I made it actually. Huh. I found the feather first and thought it was really cool. So I wanted something to put it in. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm not super good at sewing, so I got my friend Marley to help. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. What a great story! Wait, I wasn't done. Oh. See, cause then we had to find the fab... Blah, blah, blah. And that's how we made it! Great. Well, uh, if you want to buy anything, you can do that. Okay, thanks, dude. Uh, so that's it with him. Who's this old geezer? Oh, God, no. That's not what I want to do. I've traveled all over the world, but I've never seen a city like this. Moabumi is a really magical place. Literally, because it's magic. Gabe. Without magic, it's hard to reach most of the city. Yeah, I've heard. But there's so much to see in the tourist areas. I visited the academy and sat in a class there. It was a little pointless, but it was interesting seeing how witches learn. I'm writing a travel guide, actually. I want to see everything the world has to offer. What about you? 
Where do you think I should go next? I can actually choose. Uh, shit, I don't remember. Uh, Chimis, Yatan, Blank Tree, Tatango. Let's say Delphi because it's like Miriam's place. So Delphi. Delphi, I know that place. I hear the leaves are pretty in the autumn. There's a really cool band from there too. <laughs> cool, so I guess that's it. Unfortunately, I streamed this game too sporadically to actually remember which the name the names of each place we've been in. Like which is which. That's it. Hmm? Oh, there we go. Who's this point, Dexter? Oh, bother! This baton is always acting up. It's an old family heirloom. Enchanted, somehow, to react to music. But the thing's so bloody sensitive. I can't so as much as walk by a musician. I'm sure it's lovely for conducting. As long as the band is kilometers away. Bastard. On one occasion, I was out and about with this thing, and I had the misfortune to run into a magic man. I was trapped up in a high place for hours. They had to bring someone to get me down. Oh, so wait, the wand makes them float when there's music? Well, that would be perfect for us. Something so music sensitive could be useful, perhaps. So I thought to bring it to the academy. Chaps here know a thing or two about magic. Or maybe they could fix the bloody thing. That would be nice. Ah! Blimey! That's it, I can't... make him leave it. Oi! Could you please stop that? It, can I, like, get him mad at me or something? Blasted thing! Enough already! Wah! Blimey! No, okay. So there's some other way to do it. There's probably something like if you touch all the crystals or something. Oh, it's Rudolph again. Ah, it's you! From the boat! Are you a student here? Haha, <laughs> wink! I'm winking, of course, because I know you are not. If you have come to learn about magic, well, while I admire your pursuit of that knowledge, there is not much you can do with it. You are not a witch, correct? Unless you are born with a gift. Why are some born with magic and some not? The answer is not clear to us yet. That's the primary subject of my research here. Okay, cool. Uh, which direction should I go first? Oh, I came from there. There's probably something with these. I can probably make them move. Mm, there's probably some way to do something. Okay. So I need to go there. Who's this? Is that her sister? Oh. Sorry if I didn't notice you just now. I'm working on my thesis. Just going back and forth from my room to the library, day and night, forever, and I forget how to talk like a normal person. Sayali. So, I'm studying different kinds of magic. Different individuals produce different magics, even when they attempt the same thing. But now I'm freaking out because... There's no reason I can find for why that is. It won't make for a very compelling presentation. Mm -hmm. 
Just a sec. Hmm. Well, see you, Ollie. The Academy is so important to me. I grew up thinking I'd study here. Dreaming about it. And now that I'm here, I wanted to create the most groundbreaking thesis. Really discover something, but it's easier said than done. Now I just hope I can graduate. Okay, let's keep going then. Wait, what? Why can't I see myself? Where am I? Oh! Well, that was a weird glitch, I think? First one I've encountered. Like, that's the biggest... Yeah, that's kind of a... I th I'm actually not sure. There we go. That's really weird. Oh, there she is. Kendra! Sis? Kendra! Uh, am I seeing things? How... What are you doing in that mirror? I need your help, Ken. I need to talk to Mom. Oh gosh, Al. She's been worried sick about you. We all have. What happened to you? I died, Ken. I know that! But... Uh, how? An accident. An accident? That's all I get? Everything's always a secret from me. They didn't even tell me you vanished hand. Hal, sorry. I'm distracted. I'm not a baby anymore. I'm sorry, Cam. But I can't talk about it now. What do you need? I'm tied down to this body. Hi, by the way. I'm a bard. But we don't have access to magic. So how can we get into the palace? Hmm. <laughs> no magic. Wait a second. Did you say you're a singer? What? Oh. That's right. What? Uh, I was just studying this in class. It's a little known fact that magic... It's actually just advanced music. Oh, well. Fancy that. What? And way, way, way back, we used, we used to use songs to do magic. Oh, well, that explains all the, you know, Elder Song and how it works. Found it. Try singing this. Oh. Huh. Activated it. It worked! It worked? I can do magic? Sort of. Singing is primitive compared to real magic. But these crystals are extra magic sensitive. So they'll respond to you. That's the only example song in the book. I wish I could be more help. I bet Amaris wouldn't know tons more spell songs. Oh no. Not her. Who? Our older sister. She's headmaster of this whole school. And, yeah, a pain to deal with. I don't want to see her. I don't think she wants to be seen. By anybody. She's been hiding at the top of her tower for weeks. There's also Badria. I can mark where she lives for you, Hal. Maybe she can help too. That's a much better idea. Thank you, Ken. I wanted to give you a hug just now, but I guess you're just a ghost in a mirror. I love you, Hal. I love you too, sis. Cool. Kendra. You know the story about the goddess Aya? Creating the universe with song. 
and all that, right? According to the book, since the universe is fundamentally just music, we discovered we could use music to manipulate it. And that's what evolved into magic. It, sound, it, it sounds pretty crazy, but it does work, so I guess it's true. I wish I could just take you to the palace myself. But you have to cast the spell yourself to get in. Write it down on your map so you don't forget it. Forget it. I don't know what to do now. I have so many exams. I was keeping so busy. I managed to stop thinking about what happened. But now it's all coming back in such a rush. Oh, hell. Where, whoever you are, please take good care of Hal. All my sisters are too old and stuck up to be my friends. Except Hal. She was the best. She's a good person. I might start crying soon. Um, I don't want you to be here for that. Okay, sorry girl. Uh, okay, so before we... Hold on, before we do that... Let me see if this works on any other... Actually, you know what? I should start here. What was it? Oh, nice. Okay, so that's how it works. Whoa, hold on. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can go down here? Oh, that's a bit dumb. Oh, well. Oh, hey there. Are you one of my students? <laughs> of course not. If you were, you'd never forget me. Take magical engineering sometime. You'll love it. I'd rather, I'm rather like a bear. I'm fairly placid until provoked. And I like to hibernate three months of the year. <laughs> That's probably as far as the analogy goes. I don't make a habit of scratching my rear end on trees. The administration would frown on that, even with my tenure. <laughs> my students are brilliant. They're building a device to go up into space. Why? Who knows? Maybe they'll poke Aya herself in the eye. <laughs> That's it? Good. Okay, so I can just keep going there, but I want to check... Oh. Let's see if this works as well. Huh, yeah. Okay, I guess that's pretty cool. Oh, shit, there wasn't... Oh, I can just go up here. So what's... Oh, there she is. Oh, wait, I don't want to go there yet. Oh, she got a broom. Miriam. Doesn't seem to be working very well, though. Miriam! You got a broom! Yeah, I had to do a bunch of pointless side quests, but I got one of those cheap shop brooms. It's not exactly good. Going more than a couple feet off the ground is pretty terrifying. I'm trying to get used to it. Well, that's okay. Guess what? What? I learned how to do magic. What? Singing can do magic. And not just, like, the magic of friendship, but real magic, like spells that do things. Th that's great. Well, I'm in no shape to take a passenger yet, so I guess keep doing your thing. Figure out how to get into the castle. I'll learn how to fly this thing. And then we can join forces. <laughs> this is embarrassing. I only ever flew my grandma's broom. Everyone here makes it look so easy. I look like an idiot. Guess I'm, I guess now I'm just the failure witch. I can't even do basic witch things. It's okay. I can't fly brooms either. Yeah, but you aren't a witch. So this is a witch academy. I never thought there'd be a school just for magic. It seems so boring to study. What? Magic is cool, Miriam. 
Yeah, of course it is. So why would you study it? Magic is all about doing cool things. Reading about it seems like a waste. So wait. You can do magic by singing, huh? Sure can. They said magic is advanced music. I always knew music was magical. How is it that I did magic my whole life and I never knew that? It feels so weird. It's like this thing I've had my whole life was keeping secrets from me. Did Grandma Safi know? Probably. She never really taught me stuff. I just went outside and did stuff. To me, magic was always a thing though just was. Hey, drops. You didn't miss much, man. Thanks for thanks for uh, visiting. Um, well, we got to. Uh, I already forgot the name, but like the the capital of Chandesh. The thing is, the city is uh, built underground and it's built vertically. For uh, since witches can fly, so it's just it's it's like it's it's better. Like it saves space and it's more convenient apparently. So right now we're stuck in the tourist area. We did learn how to do some basic magic to get to the palace, though. Uh, but it's, it's like because apparently magic is advanced music in this world. Uh, because Aya, the god, has created the universe with a song. So, um, so doing magic and like changing things about the universe is just basic. Is just like more advanced music or singing or stuff. Uh, so we know some simple stuff that lets us, you know, hop a bit higher, and we need to learn some more. And that's it. Oh, and Miriam uh, lost her broom on the way here, like it broke. Uh, so she just got a new one now, and she's trying to get used to it. I think it's something with an origin that you can study and understand. Right now we're in the Magic Academy. It takes the magic out of it. Oh, and obviously we learned that, like, you know, the monsters... The Chandish didn't create the monsters. They're a bothering rule. They're, the monsters are also bothering the Chandishians. And there's an invasion tomorrow by rule. So we gotta warn people. Even if magic is made of music, that doesn't really take the mystery out. Music is an even bigger mystery, Miriam. What? No, it isn't. Music is just, like... Notes like A B C. You can count and put in order. What? Oh my gosh, Miriam! That isn't even close. Music is so much more than that. Trust me, I'm a pro. Music is sounds and vibrations. It's the way the whole universe moves. Nobody can understand all of it. Mm. Well. That's not really what magic is to me. But I guess it sounds better than just notes. I think that's okay. The other thing is... It can be whatever you want it to be. Sure. But I don't know why you'd want to study it. Because learning is fun. Okay. Yeah, we lost her there. Okay, we got a map. Yeah, might as well just keep going. Hmm, sexy little witch. You know, I will go back and try to scour the bottom floor just to see if there's any secret spots I can find. Okay, well this one sends me up there. Which sends me further off, so that's no biggie. What about out here, outside the school? Okay, that didn't work. Let's go to the shopping district. Any more of those blocks around here? Oh, there's one here. Whoops. Oh, Miriam's here. And now I'm over here. Oh, so I guess it just like leads to the same area. That's weird. So what's in here? Oh, more. Just more guys. Hey, here's the sexy witch again. Oh, there's probably some way for me to get up there. 
Oh, I don't go here. I was just stopping by to deliver my boyfriend some dinner. I'm an awesome, supportive girlfriend. He's studying hard night and day. When you fall into that, it's easy to forget everything. Like eating. Varuna. That's a pretty name, actually. He'd never forget me, though. He'll become a grand witch and we'll get married. Yes, it's a total dream life. These days are the tough ones. He's in school and I'm busy with work. We hardly see each other now. But it will be all better in the end. Sometimes I worry that the war will reach us here and he'll be called into battle as a grand witch. Our perfect life would be short-lived. All I can do is hope and keep telling strangers about all my worries. Sorry if that's awkward. I have a lot in my mind. Uh, no, that's, that's cool. Okay, so I can keep going up there somehow. I'm just curious. Okay, oh, come on. Hmm. There's certainly a lot to explore. Hmm. Well, I can't reach there yet. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll suck for this guy. Whenever I'm lost in Mohabumi, I always remember the three Ds. Down does the open the map. Wait, that's not very memorable. Wait, how do I open the map again? Oh no. Gonzalo. What button opens the map? Was it left? Up? X? This is terrible. I wrote notes for all my favorite spell songs on it too. I need to find it. It's easy to get lost in Wahabumi, especially if you're walking on the ceiling and walls. Sometimes I forget which way is up and which is down. Wait, down, that's it. Does, does, open the map. I guess it was pretty memorable after all. Okay, thanks dude. Uh, yeah, let's check. Let's finish looking at this floor first. We saw Miriam over there. Oh, there she is. Magic candy. With an old lady. Oh, and a better broom. I can finally explore the rest of this market. There's a lot here. Must be crap. Guess this is what witches like, though. I was checking out this candy. It's really weird. Safi never made stuff like this. All this candy is made from stuff around here. You'd never see this back in Delphi. There's this one familiar flavor though. It's kind of like this wild mushroom we used to pick. It grew under the trees in Delphi. She would cook it into everything. I don't think it's exactly the same. But the taste really reminds me of those mushrooms. I wonder if she was trying to mimic this. I wonder if Safi ever lived here? She never told me about it if she did. I never even asked her where she came from. I wish I had. I like to think she was here once. Or maybe she grew up here. I don't know why, but I like to think that. Cool, I guess that's it. Interested in some candy, sweetie? They're all homemade from family recipes. Passed down through generations of witches. I like candy. Of course you do. Try some of my dried worm guts. Uh, could I have candy? What? That is candy. My worm guts are the best in Mohabumi. Try, try. That's okay. Ulima. If not the worm guts, 
How about my pickled bug horns? Do witches really eat these things? We love these things. Try, try. Uh. It's such a waste to come to Mohabumi and not even taste our candy. Just try one thing. I insist. Fine. Oh. Hmm. That's really tasty, actually. Didn't I tell you? That's a very popular one. Sweet, crunchy bat flakes. Would you like to take some? Nah, I'm okay. Okay, well, we're done with that. We got better brooms here. We got a moody teenager. Witches are... F witches are the most fake, boring, annoying people on the planet. If you ask me. I'm not really proud to be one of them. And we're born with such strange hair colors. Pink, green, cyan. I like normal human hair colors. I guess that's obvious from my hair now. I actually like this uh, rebellious thing where she dyes her hair into quote-unquote normal uh, colors. Sophie. Which is our emo. I don't really get why there's a war going on. Like, what's wrong with rule? Did they do something? They seem cool to me. What do I know? I want to move out of here when I get older. Definitely not going to the academy. I'd go across the ocean. Or I'd go to rule, even. Starting a new life in a strange new place. That sounds almost kind of exciting. Okay, that's cool. What's on this floor? Hmm. 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 Okay, guess that's it. Oh yeah, we did get our message to the king. Uh, he didn't like it, and he threw us in jail for quite a bit. The thing is, after we gave the, after we passed the message, uh, basically saying that you know this this uh, war is folly, don't do it, blah blah blah, all the usual stuff. Um, we fainted from exhaustion. He got pretty mad, and threw us in jail, and while we were passed out, Miriam bailed us out and flew with us out of rule to get the other uh to get the other piece of the song we only got half the song from the king and we need to see the queen here who is also the mother of the dead princess who is trapped in our body and who wanted to bring the message to to the king uh, okay, I need to go over there. Let's see what's over here. Oh, who's this? My great-great-grandma started the whole war with Rule. It's true, really. A long, long time ago, she was in Yatan. And she saw one of those animals. What do they call them? Quinn? Oh, uh, Kin, I think. It was a beautiful bird, I think. And she decided to keep it. But later she found out it was the Prince's Quinn. When it went missing, he panicked. They thought it was kidnapped by spies. Yep, so they started the war over it. You know, it was crazy. Because the Quinn liked my great-great-grandma way better. The Prince was, like, really mean to it. It was embarrassing for Rule. So they kept the real reason for the, for the war a secret. But it was my great-great-grandma. Yep. Rest in peace. My whole family is crazy. We used to live in the Mohabumi castle. Yep. When I was a kid, it was my job to brush the queen's hair. I had to do it every day, even though I was so young. My dad was like a political advisor to her. So he knew like all her secrets. But he knew too much, yep. 
One day he found out something he wasn't supposed to. So the queen killed him. Yeah, it was so sad. He had to leave the castle forever. I never found out the secret that got him killed. But I think it was about one of the princesses, probably the one that died. Yep. They're always doing illegal stuff. They can't get away with anything because they're royalty. When I was young, everyone said I was a prodigy. Like with magic. I studied in the castle with the princesses. They were all jealous of me though because I was so talented. I tried for the academy when I was still a kid. Took the entrance exam and everything. The proctor told me my exam was flawless too when I handed it in. But then later, when I got the official results, my score was terrible. But then I looked at the answers in my exam, and it wasn't even my handwriting. They switched my exam on purpose. Yep. It was totally corrupt. Yeah, I wonder how many of them are true though. The queen bought my score for one of the princesses. I guess she wasn't too smart either, based on her exam. So I never got into the academy. Crazy, huh? Well, that's it. That's all the stories. Okay, what else do we have around here? Oh, I can't get up there, I think. Or, oh, maybe. Wait, I think I can through here. Yep, there we go. Oh, potions. Is that where I'm supposed to go to, though? Oh, I can't see. Uh, no, over there. How do I get... Like, I see the... I guess I need to learn how to move this or something. Maybe in the potions shop. Oh, it's this guy. Or girl. Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, there she is again. Oh, Deva, right. Diva, actually. It's more like it. Oh, hey. It's the criminal. Shh. Hey. Please don't say that so loud. I don't want to get in trouble. Aw, oh, don't sweat it. A criminal record's like a badge of honor. Well, to me anyway. I won't tell anyone your cool secret. Is this your first time in Mohabumi? How'd you like it? It's pretty big. Feeling overwhelmed? I guess, since we can fly. And walk on walls and stuff. It doesn't feel so big to us. But it must be shocking to you if you don't have magic. When you get a chance, you've got to check out the crater. It's a theater in the upper area of the city. All the coolest acts come through there. I hear there's a band there from across the ocean. Cool. Oh wait, that could be uh, the band from Delphi. Or friends. Okay. Oops. Uh, well, let's talk to Miriam first. So, they make potions here. That's your specialty, right? Uh, more like my grandma's specialty. Yeah, also I met, like, uh, an explorer earlier. Or, well, no, someone who was writing, like, a travel guide. So he asked me where I should go next, and I said Delphi just because. So maybe it's because of that? I'm not sure, though. I just picked up some things from her. But we could never make potions like these. We just used what was around us in Delphi. What's your specialty? Or speciality? What's your speciality, I mean? Hmm. I guess I'm pretty good at blowing stuff up with my fingertips. That's very violent, Miriam. Do you really like blowing things up? Well, yeah. It's really fun. I don't know. That's just what my magic does. But magic is so different here. We just have all these different uses for it. They do lots of things with it. I feel so simple by comparison. I thought doing magic made me a witch. But we're barely even the same thing. I feel so different from everyone here. My grandma's the only one who feels like home. 
And we haven't talked in a long time. I keep wondering if she's okay. I bet she's worried about you too. Yeah. And, I mean... You know... What if we don't make it in the end? What if the world ends? Last time I saw her... Last time I saw her could have been the last. I never thought about that. Well, I did. I think we'll make it back, Miriam. I guess I don't know for sure. Either way, you don't have to feel alone. Because you have me. That's nice. Cool, I guess that's it. So, who's this lady? Hey! How can I help you? Wanna buy a potion? I don't have any money. A squ- Yeah, actually, yeah, she is. Aww. Whoops. Too bad. My potions are the best. Kamala. I like to really go with the flow, you know? Make my potions fresh every day. I just kind of listen to the universe. And see what ingredient it wants today. And then I use those. Sometimes it gets weird. But sometimes my I make nifty new discoveries. I think I'm really in tune with the now, you know? You know? The whole universe. It's just all of us in one big mushy pile together. And we all mix together in different ways. But we're all really part of the same one thing. I like thinking about that, and about all the ways the little pieces mix together. That's why making potions is the coolest! If you say so. Uh, let's keep moving, I guess. We're here, and I guess we can jump up there. Anyway, who's this dude? Oh, I'm so tired. I was up all the night before, partying. And then I had work today. I think I'm starting to see things. You look like a happy green elf. <laughs> Ananya. Are you really here? You look so ridiculous. I'm real. <laughs> Oh my gosh! I'm so embarrassed. Wait. That's exactly what a hallucination would say. Tell me a story, sweet little hallucination. I'm real. But okay. Once there was a happy unicorn. Mm. Except the unicorn wasn't happy because um, she lost her horn. Oh, no. Yeah, so she just looked like a normal horse. But in her heart, she knew she was a unicorn. And her name was... Hmm... Miriam. That's so... So Miriam the unicorn, she went looking for her horn. And... You should get some sleep. Okay, good night, dude. Yeah, nothing over on that side. Hmm. Well, it's, uh, I think it's... Well, it's on the level of where I'm supposed to go. So it's probably a step in the right direction, but... Just because of that, I'm not gonna go there just yet. Oh. So what's over here? Let's see. Hmm. Uh, I can't tell what's like down there. <laughs> yeah, I guess we saw right through him. Hmm. I guess it just leads down, nothing that special. So I guess, the, yeah, the, the game is really linear when you think about it. So I guess I'll just go there. Mm, probably the next screen. 
will be the one. That's Matilda. I guess people live here or something? I don't... Yeah, I'm not sure if we activate anything. Yeah, that tie-dye. It's pretty cool, actually. Hey there, bud. Don't be rude to anybody here. Mwabumi is a city of love. Well, I'm the only one who says that. But I'm gonna make it true. We're spreading love out in every direction. I think that's a crime, dude. Jonas, you can get arrested for that. Jonas Joplin. If everyone could learn to love and respect one another, the world would be a better place, bud. We don't need no war. We don't need no hate. Just feel the love. That's what it's all about. Some folks would laugh at you for saying wild things, even if they're true. Especially if they're true. But don't let the world stop you, bud. Let your love, love grow free. Okay, dude. Okay, so what's up, Matilda? Oh, it's you. The creepy one. Who escaped from jail. Stowed away on my boat. Snuck into my room and sang me a song. Yeah, that definitely sounds like us. Well, how you doing? Break any more laws lately? Moabumi is a most wonderful musical city. Hard to believe there are folks out there working to destroy it. Those monster-loving rulers frighten me so. Their jail must have been a nightmare. I'm sure you've seen awful things. No wonder you came out so twisted. Thankfully, the war hasn't reached us here yet. Yeah, we'll wait till tomorrow. You've come to the right place to get away. But its shadow lurks close. There's talk of monsters in the forests. Rulers all keep monsters of their own, too. Think that's a coincidence? We won't be safe here forever. Okay. Who's this? Well, it's another day of <clears throat> day of war with rule. Is that a guy, a girl? What the fuck is with her face? Folks may not always talk about it, but you can bet it's on their minds. <laughs> Mustanama. Everyone's stressing about the war, running around. But when you get to my age, it's no big thing no more. Oh, I guess it's she's an old lady. It's just life as a Chandishian. Those animal lovers are scary for sure. I hear they got monsters coming after us. But I also saw the hero around here too. I think Aya sent the hero here to protect us. Aya's on our side. So harm will never come to us here. Uh, sure, Granny. Hmm, Sun and Moon. Guess that's where we meet... Pal's friend. I really want to jump off. I should probably do it after I'm done... ...talking to her, though, so I won't have to do the whole thing back again. Oh my, it can't be. Hala? Batria, how's the baby coming along? Hala, you died. I know. I was trying to make it less awkward, sis. Oh, it's also a sister. What's going on here? I'm in this body. Hi. And we need to talk to mom. But this minstrel doesn't have magic. The best we can do is sing the really old spells. The old songs? Did you talk to Amaris about it? No. I'm trying not to see her. 
I was hoping you could help us, Badria. Would that I could, Hala. But I'm not a scholar like Amaris. I don't know these things. You know she could you know she could answer a question like that. <sighs> I do know one of the songs. The one that goes like this? How? Oh, okay. And now I can walk on walls, maybe? That was it! The one that lets us walk on walls. Okay, cool. It's a handy one. If you want to see Mom, we've got to talk to Amaris. It's the only way. Yeah, yeah. We will. I marked her office on your map just in case you forgot. I love you, Hala. Please don't haunt me forever. I'd be tempted, but I'm already in a committed haunting with this minstrel. I love you too, Badria. Give my regards to my niece when she's born. Aw, that's kind of sad, Badria. That old song I taught you. Everyone knew at least that one when I was growing up. Did you really not know it, Hala? Yes, no, I really didn't know it. Today's witches, forgetting their fundamentals. When Maha is born, I'll make sure they know it. Miss you too, Badria. Poor mom. She had to wait so long to be a grandma. And just before Maha's born, she lost you. It really upset her, Hala. She loved you so much. I never was very good at keeping in touch with the family. I probably was the last to hear about Hala's disappearance. I don't think it's even hit me yet. Hala really was too young for this to happen. What a cruel shame. I'm right here. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, this is definitely weird. Mm-hmm. Wait, oh, it counts like this space as... Okay, now I get it. Well, let's try jumping down. We'll see what happens. Huh? Oh. Ah. Oh. oh well. I don't know. It was the other way around. Hmm. I don't think I can walk on those since I can't reach them. Or maybe I can. No, sorry, I meant. No, I think I need, like, something to... Oh, there we go! I did it! Oh, whoa, okay, that's... Takes a while to get used to it. Okay, there we go. Oh, who are you? Wait, what, what else is over here? Just that dude? No, being a witch doesn't make life easy. Think about it all the time. People think magic solves all your problems, but have lots of problems. I wish it solved all my problems, Hermes. But my girlfriend dumped me. Where was magic to help me then? That's what I'm asking. I can fly and walk on walls, but women just can't understand them. What's even the point of magic? I traded in a heartbeat. If it gave me my girlfriend back. Hmm, probably. I suppose I'd have to think about it. Okay, dude, that's cool. Okay. So that's that area. Question is, should I go back? I think I should, just to be extra sure. I should go back and like redo all the str streams. Thank you, streaming show. I'll try to lurk you as well. I appreciate it. 
Uh, how do I get down all the way down quickly and easily? Okay, here we are. At the bottom. Oh, and thank you much, so much for your follow, too. The streaming show. Very much appreciated, dude. Okay, so nothing here. Wait, 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 hold on. Can I actually reach that? Yes, okay. Where does this take me? Is there a shortcut? Yeah, I guess it is. A follow fellow. That would actually be a good username, I think. Anything at the academy? Yeah, this. Yeah, this is the only place where the glitch. So far in the game is it is kind of weird, but no biggie really. It's kind of minor. Oh what? There we go. <laughs> That's silly. Oh right. Oh, there we go. Uh, let's see what's up there. Whoa, god damn it. What if it's a shortcut or like a secret area? Was easy. Hmm. Don't think I can make it up there though, unless. Oh, there we go. I can use that. I don't. Know if, I don't know if it's so secret. I mean, I would have reached there anyway. I think. Oh, who's this? Wow, you caught me. That's right. The mysterious graffiti artist of the Witch Academy, who's left her mark all over, but has never been seen, is me. Oh, you haven't heard of me? Just don't tell anyone you saw me, okay? Ima. The Witch Academy is so stuck up. People think studying magic means they know everything. I hate it. Someone has to shake things up. That's me. I'm a student here, too. If the administration finds me out, I'll be expelled for sure. Not that I love this place, but I need to graduate. So my ticket out of this drab city and into the real world. I want to be one of the few witches who leave childish. I've got big ideas, bub. Okay, that's cool. Okay, yeah, that takes me up there. Let's move on to the next to other areas. Let's see if there's anything we can do. I guess it's more of a Oh, okay, now I know where I am. Okay, so that's how I get up there. This is right back from the... Okay. Is there anything right below me, though? Like anything around here, maybe? Probably not. This game doesn't do a lot of hidden shit like that. Oh no, it's just that nerd. Wait, what is... 
That space over there. Hmm, no, I guess it's nothing. He still won't give me... Nope. Won't give it up. Okay, I think there aren't really... A, there isn't really anything serious. I guess the m most secret thing I can find is... Is that graffiti artist. Oh, wait, hold on. Hmm. Oh, I guess that's another shortcut over there or something, or just another path to get there. Hmm. How do I get... Weird. I guess maybe eventually I'll get... I'll find a way to, like... get past that to move it or something yep nothing okay that moves on over there I did want to make sure though okay yeah that's what I thought just another way of oh wait oh come on where does that one take me to? Oh, come on! Guess maybe I shouldn't be like right on the edge. this maybe there we go yeah you're exactly right drops huh where's this taking me oh I've already been here too so it's all like shortcuts that take me to the same places it seems mm, okay okay over here just the same old shit what's up there though oh, I've already been here haven't I yeah that's like where yeah I walked on the ceiling earlier and met that guy up on the other side. Hmm. Oh, I need to move that also, I think. Yeah, until I learn how to move shit, I don't think I can actually... Okay. Well, that's good to know. What's over there? Oh, who's this? Wah! That's Wanda. I love living upside down. Oh, yeah, maybe walk through. That's true. Wait, no. It's the rest of the world that's upside down. I'm one of the few right side up ones. <laughs> Some folks don't like being on the ceiling. You get used to it. Suits me just fine, but then I may just be a very upside down kind of person. At least that's what all my boyfriends say. <laughs> yeah, okay, girl. Okay, so there's more towers there. Who's 
this? Oh, here's that uh, that other guy from the boat. <sighs> All this stress is bad for my skin. This forever war would be boring if it wasn't also terrifying. I don't want to be eaten by a monster. I thought sideways living would be a fun change of pace. After me and my boyfriend split, it was time for something new. Turns out it's not really that exciting. My life is still the same boring thing. But sideways now. Oh, god damn it. Fernando. Hola, mi amigo from the boat. Are you enjoying Mohambu Mohabumi? This is just... This just so happens to be right near my favorite place in the city. The Crater Theater. All the best musicians in the world come here. I would play it myself, but... I smashed my accordion. Yeah, I was there. Perhaps I did not think that through. You must always follow the music. That's the spirit of a true musician. And sometimes, the music tells you to smash your accordion. And light it on fire. No one can say wh why she asks us this. But when you become a musician, you pledge your allegiance to her whims. You have the spirit of a true musician. I did not know it when I met you, but now I can feel it. Your signs, your signs bright as mine. We are a kindred spirits, amigo. Carry the music in your heart wherever you go. Okay, cool, dude. Okay, cool. So I can go over there and I can go to the theater. Then we'll go to the theater first. Hmm. Oh yeah, it is the guy. It is the band. Our old friends. Ash, I don't remember the names though. Oh, uh, their voices. I mean. Holy cannoli! Ace. Manny. What a sight for so rise. Always thought we might run into you again. It's been a while. We ain't got much time to chat. But to go up on stage here. Hey, Wada. Yeah, it is a pretty cute game. How you doing, dude? Thanks for dropping by, man. Yeah, this game is, is, is really fun, actually. And once we're up there, that's gonna be a whole night. These witches sure know how to party. I'm mentally preparing myself. We'll give them a night to remember. Come watch us in a bit. Man, it's just great to see you, Ace. Thanks, Big Balls. I'll try to uh, lurk you as well. After you left, we took this show on the road. We've been all over the world. It's been quite an adventure. Maybe a little too much. Yeah, it ain't always been easy. Really? We've had our instruments stolen. Been kicked out of rule. And that time we were on trial for sea crimes. We've definitely been in some hot potatoes. All worked out in the end though. We still going. Even got ourselves a new singer. Really? So this is my replacement. The band definitely ain't the same without you though, Ace. We miss you. We'd love if you traveled with us. Aww. That does sound really fun. But I have to save the world. Sounds important. You gotta follow your heart, Ace. It's so cool to see you all again, though. I didn't think you'd ever leave Delphi. Hmm? Uh, Delphi ain't really a thing anymore, Ace. Oh shit, what? Delphi really changed after you, you left. There was a dark feeling in the air. The sun didn't shine as bright. The wind stopped blowing. 
and monsters started appearing. Monsters? They were horrible. Dark creatures. They tear homes apart. Attack innocent people. Nasty, nasty stuff. I think I've seen those kinds of monsters. Is the town gone? Well... The town's still there. But it ain't what it used to be. It isn't safe. The people left there are in constant fear. We did everything we could. I loved my town, Ace. Even it wasn't an easy choice. But we had to. Oh. I'm sorry. But I'm glad you're okay. Our music made a difference, Ace. I really believe that. <laughs> we keep people's spirits up. We carry the good vibe you gave us. Never since we left. Well, uh, Miriam's grandma lives in Delphi, so I think she should know about this. We've been spreading it all over the world. Wow. Delphi may be in some trouble, but we left their spirits. But we left their spirits tough, face. And there's still a good folks there. Yes, like that witch. Witch? Oh yeah. Sapphire. Oh, that's her real name. Yeah, that makes more sense than Safi. Sapphire? She's a tiny, very kindly old lady. Aww. <gasps> that's Miriam's grandma! Huh? Who? Oh, you never met her. She's great, though. If she's related to Sapphire, she must be. Sapphire's been keeping Delphi safe. She's the only one who can fight the monsters. She's impressive for an old lady. I see. Well, enough about that. Ace, we got a show to put on. That's right. Amazing to see you again. Don't forget about us. We'd have you back any time. Okay, so what's with my replacement? Ugh. Yeah, I'm with the band. It's just a temp thing. They're so... dorky. I'm working on launching my solo career. The music I do is pretty different. But I need these gigs. Jamie, or Jaime, I don't know why. Jaime seems to suit him better. Girls love a guy in a band. After I perform, they line up. Well, except with this band. It's hard to look cool with these dweebs behind you. What a douche, but I'm doing my best. Are you their old singer? That explains a lot. They always talk about you. And whenever I sing, they want me to sound more like you. Can you give me a sample? Sing for me. Oh. That. Uh. I don't do that. Fine. Candy ass. Whatever. Too bad I can't go inside. Oh, I can't go inside. Then I'll talk just to him first. I love the crater. I love to just get down. Yeah! And freaky! These joints are old, but they still got life in them. Rahul. I've been dancing these halls. Heck, since I was a baby. The kids just keep getting younger. But they ain't got moves like mine. Generations of dancers have come and gone. But the crater's always been there. It's a special place. Am I gonna see you on the floor tonight? Uh, sure, let's go. Oh, nice, I'm actually dancing. 
Oh shit, is that Miriam? Oh, hmm. What, uh, what are you doing here? I don't know. What are you doing here? Nothing. It looked like you were dancing, Miriam. No. Okay, you know what? I was dancing. Is that against the law? I didn't know you liked dancing. I don't, usually, but I don't know. I've been figuring out a bunch of stuff about myself and it's been exhausting. And I want to dance. I don't care if you want to judge me. No, I want to dance with you. Oh, Miriam, I heard about your grandma. What? Really? There's monsters in Delphi, just like here. She's fighting them. Oh. Is she okay? I think so. She keeps the whole town safe. Your grandma's really cool, Miriam. I hope she's okay. Just dance your troubles away. Um, so... What sort of stuff have you been figuring out? Everything. Like, who I am. And what I'm doing. And why I'm doing it. Oh! That's a lot. You figure that out? No. I guess... You don't really ever figure that out. I was just thinking about it. You always seem to know what you're doing. I do? Well, okay, no you don't. But, you know, who, you know who you are. I do? Oh, shut up. Yes, you do. Yeah, I like her moves, too. You're always so sure of what you want. And you're always so happy. Like, like it's just easy. It is. Not for me. Man, too real, Miriam. How do you do it? Huh? You mean... Be happy? Yeah, how do you do it? I want to be happy. <laughs> hey, Spaghetti, welcome back. It's good to have you again. I don't know. Maybe it's not really that easy. Yes, it is water. I have to try hard all the time. Lots of stuff makes me feel sad. Sure. But then you just get over it. Like when we were in Chins Chismist. You were so mopey about not being the hero. And then you were fine again. I don't know if I really got over it. I just... Stop thinking about it. Can I... Oh, I can move again. Okay. That's it? Well, we can dance a bit more. Whoops! God damn it! No, I wanted... The other side. What's on the other side? Well, I guess we can't talk to anyone. Oh, that's it. Oh, well. Fuck me, then. Okay. That was a nice, uh, short break. So, uh, yeah. Going back to the... Which is cool. Okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Get away. Uh, okay, so there are two exits here. Through this, I guess it's where I need to go through it or move it or whatever, like drop set. Come on. No, God, fuck. No, shit. It's kind of tricky sometimes. Add that to the list, Rops. What brings you here? Well, I died. Oh, I know that, believe me. And other things, too. Mm -hmm. You really hurt this family, you know that? What you did was incredibly selfish. Hey! That's not very nice. Your sister was kidnapped. Why is that selfish? She wasn't kidnapped. Huh? She ran away. Abandoned us. Got herself killed. Why don't you tell us yourself, sister? Well, I mean... Yeah. You ran away from home? Why? I wanted, to, I wanted the stupid war to end. And mom has the power to stop it. But... She wouldn't hear me. I got frustrated. And then I thought, maybe the King of Rule would have more reason. It was desperate and stupid. I realized that. So I ran away. And then I died. I'm sorry, Amaris. Okay? But now everyone thinks Rule killed me. And it's just another thing instigating the war. I can't let that be my legacy. Then how did you die? The forest monsters, or demons, or whatever they are. Something terrible is happening out there. And it's not Fool, and it's not us. Someone needs to make Mom understand that. We just need a song, Amaris. A spell song we can use to reach the palace. You're the only one who might know it. I do know it. I shouldn't even have to teach it to you, Hala. All the royal family should know it. Kadron, Badria didn't. Really? So much old knowledge going, for, going forgotten. Here, this is it. That's easy. <laughs> Yep, you're right, Drops. Makes it transparent. Thank you, Amaris. Of course. Losing it was very hard, Hala. For all of us. I can't help but be angry. Maybe you don't deserve it. I'm helping you so that you can go talk to Mother yourself. You hurt her the most. I hope you're ready to answer for that. I thought you were smarter than this, Hala. You were smarter than this. You could have been a great student like Kandra. Or raise a family like Badria. But you threw it all away. Stupid. Such a waste of your precious mind. As soon as you vanished, we knew that you'd run away yourself. But I didn't know why. You never even said anything, Hala. It seemed like you just wanted to be rid of us. 
How could I not be angry? Perhaps I was too quick to judge. I should be happy to see my little sister again. But seeing you like this right now... It's just bringing out my anger. I'm sorry to be like this, Hala. Forgive your fool of a sister. Oh, that's it. Okay. Okay, so what do we got down here? Hmm. What if I go up here? Hmm, damn. at least one other spot that I wanted to go to and couldn't. Oh, so I'll do that first. These don't matter, right? Like, I can't fall through these or anything, right? No, just walk through them. Okay. I'm sure it is drops. I'm sure it's such a burden on you. Oh, I think. I think this should take me right over there. Yep, okay. So there's one here, another one somewhere up there. Oh, there he is. There's Mask. I knew he was here somewhere. Got a feeling I missed a bunch of uh, dances by now, but oh well. Hey now, Wanderer. You did good finding me here. Do you feel it? This place. It's got its vibe going on. It's trying to tell us something. It's telling us it's time to dance. Relax, Wanderer. Let the dance in. Nice. New dance. Oh, nice. I like it. It's like a belly dancer thing. New dance. Beautiful dance, Wanderer. Carry it with you on your journey. Show the world the dance that lives inside you. Cool. Uh, nice. Oh, it's not a walking dance, though. It's a talking dance. Still pretty sexy. I can explain how to dance if you want. That's okay. All right. That knowledge already lives inside you, too. Okay, cool. Okay, so I got this area's dance. It kind of sucks that I can't, that I didn't get like the other ones. Oh man, I hope that's not the case, Drops, because I definitely missed a few. Wait, how does... Is that another opening, though, or is it just on the map, I mean? Right above me. Yeah, I think not. I think it's just like I don't know, just the way the map is is built or something. Even though it is weird. Nope. Wasn't any secret area there or anything. Oh well. Okay, so the only other place is up. Up and left and up. Just flaunting my stuff.
was it? Oh, there's mask again. Whoa. Hey now, Wanderer. Didn't expect to see you here. Uh. There's really no place like Mahabumi, is there? It's full of secrets. I think that's important, Wanderer. The world needs mysteries. How did you get here? The real truth is... We can never know the real truth. Some questions are just too big. And sometimes the question is more important than the answer. Don't you think? A real mystery can remind us of that. 5.5 what? Next. Uh... I don't know if Nex is just spamming or is there some sort of filter that maybe Gary or someone put on him? What's up, Nex? A real mystery can remind us of that. Even a mundane one. Don't seek answers, Wanderer. Answers aren't worth a thing. Answers change all the time. What's true today may not be true tomorrow. And sometimes... What you feel is more important than what you know. You gotta seek questions. Okay, cool story, dude. His talk about, like, you know, secrets and stuff made me... No, I don't think there's any other place I can be two that I haven't. Oh, we're about to get the castle at least. This is the this is the palace. Pretty cool city actually. Oh. Wait, what? What now then? Uh Oh, I see. Is there anything else around here? It's just the one in the end. Nope, okay. Or, wait, I could go through it. No, I can't keep climbing up, so I'll just go through it. Okay, there it is. Anything to the left here? Hmm. Mm, nope, it's only that one in the middle. Yeah, that's what I thought, Wada. I'm just not sure why you keep spamming instead of talking to Suika or uh, Snore, though. Even though some of them, like some of his um, flags do go away after a while, but I don't know. Snore and Suika probably know better. Okay, we got Hala with us. Oh, the map is gone too. I guess because I'm where I'm supposed to be. Oh. Hala? Hi, Purnima. Oh, I guess another sister then? How did you... 
Who is... Why... What? We are here to talk to mom. Oh. She is still looking for you, Hala. Anyone that lends her an ear, she sends to find you. She won't believe that you're gone. So... We should talk to her. Yes! I just thought you should know. Please be gentle with her, alright? Oh, that sounds intimidating. Isn't Pronima a name of like a, a cat food brand or something? It's startling to see you again, Hala. Mother's been so difficult to deal with. Oh, Purina. I know you said back then that you were going to run away if mother didn't negotiate peace. I thought it was an empty threat. Maybe you can talk some reason into her. Aya be my witness, I've surely tried. But you know her. She's stubborn. And nobody else has time to deal with her. You're a brave soul, Pernima. As brave as I need to be. Okay, well, let's dance our way to the throne. Oh, she's old. Mom! Can it be? Hala? Hala, you've returned to us. I knew it. I knew you were alive all this time. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can learn it, Spaghetti. Your sisters denied it. Said the most awful things. But I knew it, Hala. I'm so glad you're alive. I'm sorry, Mom. But I'm definitely dead. But your voice... Oh shit, it's coming out of us again. What is going on? Oh shit, I wonder if we'll... Oh shit, okay. Mother, can't you see? My death is re reality. But though I've left the frame my message is the same deep amongst the trees something comes you must believe monster Growing tall and danger to us all. They took my life, and now our strife each day grows ever, ever more. They Ignored because of pointless war. I wish I could just give to you forgiveness that you lack. This Oh, there you go. Thank you, Suika. And hey, Nex, good to finally have you here. She's gone. Now do a death metal voice. I could, actually, next time. Hala. 
her words. They're so naive. What? Oh, my dear old Hala. I can't believe she's really gone. She died carrying this foolish idea in her heart. She never understood how things worked. How could we just end the war? It's impossible. But those were her last words. As a ghost. She came all this way to say that to you. Yes. I dearly wish that made her words true. But it does not. Any more than she was with us. Gah! Wait! That's not all. There's an invasion tomorrow, too. Yes, I am well aware. Those animal-loving barbarians. So long as they haunt us. There will never be a chance for peace. But please be gone now. Whoever you are. I'm a bard, by the way. Hmm. Um, and I'm trying to save the world. Hmm. So I need to learn the Overseer song. Hmm. Can you teach me it? No. Well, what a bitch. Hold on. Sorry, I just need some water. Um, can I, like, hop on her or something? No. No, safe distance. Respect respectful distance. Mrs. Queen, Hala's message was really important to her. I really think you should listen to what she said. About monsters and stuff. And the war. Our spell squad is already dealing with the monsters. My worry now is that hero we sent to rescue her and rule. Hmm. Hala. My wonderful daughter. She was so intelligent and yet so foolish. She could have been a scholar like Avarice. If only she weren't so reckless. Please. I wish to be alone. Well, I guess there's nothing else I can do now. It's gonna be a dance. How'd you like them hips, your highness? No. Guess I'll just dance away then. Oh, wait, we can talk to the sister. Pernima. Oh. I'm sorry. No, you see what Hala dealt with. Hmm, I guess I do. Well, that was a huge waste of time. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Ghost Kid! I'm really sorry about my mother. I just want you to know, I really think Hala was right. And maybe we'll just kill the queen then, and then like one of the, her daughters will inherit the throne and we'll end this dumb war. And you needed the overseer song, right? I can teach that to you at least. Oh, thank God. If it helps. Yes! Okay, then listen closely. Oh, I love these parts. Whoops.
Not too bad, I think. I think I did okay. Thank you! Of course. I'll keep talking to my mother. Maybe with time, since we'll reach her. Good luck on your journey, ghost kid. Can I ask you something? Uh, yes? How do you make your hair look so crazy? Oh. It's a lot of hairspray. A lot. It looks neat! Thank you. Okay, well, if that's it. Can we go talk to the queen again or something? Nope. Okay. Nothing's changed. Well, I guess now we just gotta get to that point. There was like, I don't remember, a temple there or something? Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 there was that block over the left. It doesn't do anything. Oops. Nope. Thought we might be able to climb it. Oh, right. Uh, what was it? Oh, there she is. Hey, Miriam. Hey. Check it out. I mastered this stupid broom. Now it can get us anywhere in the city. So we can finally meet the... You met the queen already, didn't you? Yes. Well, great! So you got the Overseer song? Yeah. What's wrong? What's the problem? The war didn't end, Miriam. Even after we, we came all this way, we couldn't change anything. <sighs> How many times do I have to tell you? The world is ending! War or no war, it doesn't matter. We got the song, so we have what we need. We can meet the Overseer. Hop on my broom and let's go! Before the invasion. Or you can meet me later. If you still have stuff to do. I mark on your map where, you, where to find me. But keep it quick. Oh, there's three spots. Well, I think we did everything, right? Like... I don't think there's any space, unless there's something like really secret at the very bottom. Maybe I should check that out. The thing I would have noticed if there was something, you know, blocking the, like, with a hole in the floor or something. I don't know, I think the only thing it could have gone here was the dance move and I did, so I don't know. Fingers crossed, I think I'll do it. Whenever you're ready, hop on my broom. I can meet you at any edge of the city. Check your map if you want. Uh, I think I'm gonna do this then. Here we go. I wish this game was more clear about like its collectibles. Even the achievements are really, I don't know, vague in secret. Wow, Miriam, you fly this room really well. It's like you never lost your old one. Meh. I'm definitely not as good with this one, but thanks. I'm really sorry, Miriam, about your broom, and also, we promised to work together more. But I met the queen without you. Are you upset with me? Nah. I'm still upset my broom broke. But I'm not mad at you. I had a lot of stuff to think about anyway. It was weird being in a city of other witches. I, s I thought it'd be a place where I fit in, but I didn't. That just means you're special. Well, maybe I don't want to be so special. I've been special my whole life. Around Delphi, me and Safi were the only witches. I never knew someone else like me. I guess I still don't. It doesn't feel good to be different like this. I feel like I'm just messed up. And I'll never fit in anywhere. 
I don't fit in either, Miriam. What? Yes, you do. Everywhere you go, you make lots of friends. Everyone loves you. Nobody loves me. I love you. I mean, like a friend. I know. And maybe I do make friends. But it's not because I fit in or I'm like them. Everywhere we go, I'm an outsider too. <laughs> yeah, what up? Well, they're friends. What can they do? Maybe there'll be something more later. Though Miriam already almost had a boyfriend in one of the places we visited. Like, we kind of set her up with someone and she was kind of into it. Not really. Like, when we left, she wasn't. She didn't really care. So, I don't know. Just being on this adventure is wrong for me. I'm not a hero. I'm not supposed to be here. But you make me feel like I am. We're outsiders together. I'm glad that we're friends. You know, you're probably the only person I know that I call a friend. Aw, I'm glad we're friends too. Yeah, well, sometimes friends are also something you need, Wada. Sometimes you just need a good friend. So are we there yet? Yep, yeah, I guess we are. I did some research in the city. We're going to meet the moon overseer. Sounds cool. The moon's queen. And if I understand right, I'm going to have to play the song I learned. And the song that you learned at the same time. Oh, shit. No idea why. But it means I'll enter with you. Pretty standard by now, right? We'll probably land far apart like last time. But I'll meet up with you ASAP. That's the plan. Any questions? Um... How are you feeling? Huh? I feel fine, I guess. Pretty feelings out right now. And ready to meet an overseer. Yeah! I couldn't do it without you, Miriam. Yeah. Any more questions? Um, the invasion, I guess, even though I know what she was gonna say. The invasion. Yep. It's today. Looks like we beat it, though. Do you think everyone will be okay? Probably not. But what else can we do? If these idiots want to fight each other, I guess we have to just let them. Hmm. Stop giving me that look. We're gonna save the world, remember? We don't have time to fix every problem on the way. Any more questions? I also like the meta commentary they have every once in a while about uh, video games and heroes and all that. And epic quests and... Um Prophecies. The hero. Oh, her. I heard the witch queen sent her off to go find a princess or something. But that princess died. Awesome. I mean, not awesome, but that'll keep the hero occupied for a while. So that's good news for us. Any more questions? Why do we let land far apart? I don't know. Well, the thing about the spirit world is none of it is real the way things are here. Hey, Aryan, not quite. Um, we tried to save the world, but we're not like the hero that was prophesied. Also, dude, it's just great to see you, Aryan. It's been forever. How you doing, bud? Um, so no, we're also trying to do the right thing. The thing is, okay, it's like this. Every couple thousand years, the universe is uh, being reborn because the goddess Aya birthed, like she, she created the universe and she put these overseers in charge of like, you know, different, I don't know, elements or stuff. And after a couple of millennia, they started like getting corrupted and becoming evil. 
So every cycle, there's this one prophesized hero who comes around, kills all the overseers, and then the universe uh, reboots. And that's what's supposed to happen. But, and, and there's the hero. She, her name is Audrey. She's kind of a cunt. But um, there is, but we were told that there is a way, technic there technically is another way to save the world without destroying it. And for that, we need to like collect all the pieces of the Earth song and sing it somewhere. But no one, in all of the cycles of the universe, no one has ever actually made it. Uh, so that's what we're doing. We're actually in a race against uh, the clock, well, in a race against the hero, while she tries to like end the universe, which is supposedly the good thing because that's what the goddess wants and all that. We're trying to save it with, uh, I don't know, it's a bit complex. But yeah, there was this big moment in the game where we figure, where we realize that we're not really the hero. Like there's this other person who's running around actually being the hero. And also I only get like achieve, for example, I only get achievements for like stuff that she does. And it's usually retroactively. Like I get to a place, I find out that she killed something, and then I get an achievement for that retroactively, for killing the thing, even though the bar didn't do it. Anyway, uh, cool, glad you're here, dude. Let's keep going. It's shaped by your mind and by the overseer. That's why it goes empty when an overseer dies. And different people see different things in it. I bet it looks really different to the hero. So the space there is really chaotic and shifting, distorting around each person there. It's probably basically impossible for people to find each other, except the castle where the overseer lives. It's a center that's the same for everyone. So that's probably why we find each other there. Guess I knew after all. I just never put the pieces together. Did that make sense? I can explain it again if you want. No, actually, that makes sense. Any more questions? Um, nope. Okay, great. Let's get let's get it over with. Okay, like I said, I love these parts. Whoops. That was pretty cool. I mean, I missed a few. But it's also been a while. I've been streaming this game pretty sporadically, I'm afraid. Oh, damn. <laughs> Is that an eclipse? Mm -hmm. The Moon Kingdom. Or Queendom. Okay, so we got this slide here. Oh, that's cool! I can shine a light. <clears throat> okay. Oh, it's one of those levels. Okay. Oh no. I'm stuck. Eep! Are you a human? Yes. Aw, oh, look, it's a weird bee rat thing. Hello. Um, I'm the Moon Fairy. I've been hiding here for a long time. You must be the hero, right? No. Oh no. Things have gone very, have gone very bad. The Moon's Queen is very angry. And monsters started appearing here. They took away my only friend. Aw. Um, that's why I hid. I'm not very brave. My friend is, though. If, if I were brave like she is, I would go rescue her. But I can't by myself. I can help you! Yeep! But you aren't the hero. That's okay. I'm a bard. 
I don't know what that is. But if you can help my friend, um, that would be great. Oh, cool. Yeah, that definitely helps. You can go this way. Okay, I thought I would have to, like, shine my light to every platform to see where to go. But this, the moon fairy kind of helped me with that. Okay, what's this over here? Uh, oh, I can float. Oh, that's really cool. I really like this. Hmm. Oh, I can activate from a distance like this. That's cool. I really like how they think of, you know, new mechanics in every in every level like this. And it's always fun. Oh, wait. Just go like this. Wait, uh, it's kind of... There we go. It's kind of difficult to jump with it. Oh, interesting. Mm, oh, I see. There we go. There we go. Cool. This is a lot of fun. I really, really love this game. It's amazing to think it was created by like three people. Yeah, actually, yeah, by three people, this they made a really, really terrific game. dance while... Oh, I can! <laughs> Yeep! This is the place where the Sun King, li the sun's king lives. Oh. My friend is trapped in here. It's like easier to prove the AAA game industry is full of shit when they try to tell me. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But everybody knows that, I think. The Sun's King? Yes, the Overseer. But what about the Moon Overseer? She is back the way we came. Why are there two Overseers here? Um, I don't understand your question. I thought they all lived really far apart. Um, well, we used to be further apart a long time ago. 
but now we are very close. Probably something with like the corruption of the universe and all that. So the castle's moved? Yes. Is that strange? I guess not. Anything on the other end? Nope. Okay. Oh shit, what the? Okay. Guess I shouldn't be worried about that. Uh huh. Okay, that's more eyes. Illuminati confront. Oh, wait, did I just. Oh no. God damn it. Yeah, this is what I thought that like the entire level is gonna be like this. I'm happy it wasn't. Wait, okay. What shit? God damn it. I keep forgetting it can jump by just like, you know, pressing up. Because I'm used to doing it with like the the A button. Sun overseer's castle, then why is it so dark in here? Oh shit. Eep. Oh, it's one of the monsters. I think. Well, yeah, actually, it looks just like him. That's one of them. The monsters that kidnapped my friend. Oh goodness. I'm so frightened. But my friend is deeper in the castle. So we'll have to be brave. Okay. Can I do something to it? Or just like not let it see me? I guess that's it. Yeah, that's why I'm also more quiet. Yeah, I want to close to it. Okay, so I gotta sneak. I like how he's whisper singing. Hmm. How's this gonna work? Can I like overpower its Huh, interesting. Okay, so that's how it works. Why is it so god damn it? There's just a block over there. Okay. That was like a hole. Okay. That should be easy. Nice. What's this? Oh, there we go. That was easy. Um, let me 
carry this for you? Thanks, dude. I've decided to try being brave, but I'm very new to it. So I'm taking small baby steps. I wish I could do a cuter voice for this thing, because it is adorable. Such as carrying keys for my friends and things like that. Please be patient with me. I have autism. Yeah, yeah. This thing is fucking adorable, though. What's this? There we go. Sweet. Oh, there we go. Oh, motherfucker. Hmm, okay, cool. This is good. Sort of. Okay, yeah, no, it's good. I wish I could just kill those things, though. This place is fucking huge. Oh god damn it. Damn it. Oh, it's not really looking up, is it? Ah, oh, motherfucker. Hmm. Well, I could make it run away. I think I need to, like, go up somehow. Oh, there's the oh, crap. Okay. Oh, so that's how it works. Oh, oh, I think I get it now. Okay, yeah. Now unlock the bottom one. There we go. Oh crap, crap, crap. No, that's god damn it. I didn't think I would fall. Okay, so no, that's something different. I gotta do something different. I gotta go down and then There we go. Fuck off. Now we know that it's here. There we go. Much better. Oh shit, what the f- Eep. Oh, it's his friend, probably! It's my friend! Sunny! Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Sunny, it looks like you're locked in a very big cage. Yep. I'm very sorry about that. I was not brave enough to find you by myself. My new friend helped me get here. That's okay. But you will be very proud of me. I have been practicing being brave by helping my friend carry keys and things like that. Uh, yep. That's cool. We're going to bust you out, I promise. Yeah, he's pretty chill. Sonny's pretty fucking chill. Also, hey, Sweeka, good to see you, dude. Thanks for dropping by. We will find the key. I'll carry it all the way here. Okay. Thanks, buddy. Cool. So we're almost done. And where's the fucking key? Uh, okay. Ah, motherfucker. Okay, I think I get it now. Okay, dude. Uh, thanks for being around here, Drops. Always a pleasure. Uh-huh. Okay. Just to be sure. Okay. So he's looking over there. Hmm. 
Oh, okay. So I oh, was about to be like, okay, what happens when I touch him? Hmm. Oh, shit. Okay, it didn't actually see me. Oh, mother! No! Shit! Get away! Fuck. Okay, fuck. Okay. So hop over once. Hide under that thing. Then what? I felt like going under him, but... Actually, it seems like you can just stand here freely. So what is... Oh, mother! God damn it! Hmm. Oh, God, fuck you! Fuck, fuck you! Fuck! Oh, there's another one down there. Oh, right. I've been through him. Hmm. I can go through anything, too. Okay, okay, okay. Will he be alerted? Oh, fuck! I forgot he does that. Okay, so that's my ticket, I guess. Okay, thank God. I guess that wasn't as... complex as I thought it was. Hey, Vanster, how you doing? It's been for- Oh, shit! Hey, Vanster, great to see you, dude. Shit, what the fuck now? I think that's, like, the, the sun overseer, and he just got corrupted or something. I guess that's what happens when overseers get corrupted over time. Okay. Uh, maybe I can just maybe I can be quick enough to just go. Fuck! Oh, crap, 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 crap. Is this how I'm supposed to do this? I don't know! Oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh, yes! Oh my god, that was close. Uh, this game is Wondersong, Vancer. It's a really fun little indie game made by three people, if you believe it, uh, where you play a bard who is trying to save the world from the actual hero of this game. Yeah, that was really spooky, uh, Orion. Sunny! Buddy. Did you see? I carried the key all the way to you. Uh, yep. You did it, buddy. I'm proud of you. Thank you. And now, we make our escape. Nice. Okay. So basically, you're just seeing your way out of puzzles and uh, stuff. And it's actually a lot of fun. Right now, we're in some sort of, uh, we're like in the spirit world. Since so we need to find this different spiritual overseers. Uh, who will give us pieces of a song which will let us save the world. Oh, there she is. Miriam. You're leaving already? Did you meet the overseer? No. There were complications. I'm helping these fairies escape. Typical. It is. I really recommend Advancer. If you like, uh, you know, games that are a bit different and original, uh, it's mostly like puzzle platforming, but it's really just, you know, it's just kind of quirky and fun. I really like it. The castle got bad. It's full of evil monsters. Uh, Miriam is our witchy friend, by the way, who's helping us save the world. It's full of evil monsters. And I think I saw the overseer, but he was all haunted. Where's the escape to? 
Um, well... There's the Eclipse. It support a lot of the spirit world. So many things I want right now, but I'm saving money for something. Oh yeah, I know that feel. What are you saving for, Banster? But we can't reach it with our little wings. You two want to leave the spirit world? Um. Uh, yep. We should help them, Miriam. They're super nice, I promise. Well, all right. Hang on tight, then. That's so nice. That's great. At least they got out. Oh, a Switch. Nice. What games are you looking forward to playing? Okay. Great. Now we can... Oh, shit! It's the fucking hero. Oh, what a bitch. You. Losers. Miriam! Do you have any idea what you've done? Letting more creatures out of the spirit world? Putting more innocents in harm's way? Wake up, Miriam. Please wake up. I'm so sick of your meddling. You're making everything worse. Why would you do this? Miriam didn't do anything wrong. You aren't listening to me. Uh, Smash Bros. Splatoon 2, Mario Kart, Pokemon Tournament. Or Pokemon Tournament, yeah. New Pokemon game and some other... Yeah. Yeah, those sound good. I mean, I'm less into Splatoon, but Smash Bros. I love to have. Mario Kart is always fun. And uh, Pokemon stuff is always fun as well. You aren't listening to me. Yes, she did. Do you see what's behind me? Uh... It's the Moon Overseer's castle. But I was there earlier, and it was way, way further. It was way further away. The spirit world is collapsing. Three out of seven Overseers are dead now. She keeps killing them to reset the universe. Each one... Each one gone makes this world lose stability. It's all shrinking now. Everything is getting closer and closer together. Yeah, they're pretty great. And again, think that like uh, only three people made this game. And the graphics are really fun. It's uh, Also, this is like a fraction of what... They, they do a lot of uh, really smart ideas and concepts from different worlds, different spirit worlds, and different places in the actual world. And things are leaking out into our world. Or getting squeezed out. This is how it starts. The dark ages that will consume our world. I don't care! You didn't have to hurt her! How are we supposed to know, to know not to do that? That's exactly right. You don't know. It's why you shouldn't even be here. Uh-oh. Oh, crap. That's the corrupted Sun Overseer. And the corrupted Moon Overseer, I guess. I guess we're too late then. What is going on? It's the Overseers. Their personalities are dying. Their forms are deteriorating. They're turning into animals, driven by instinct. We have to stop them getting out at any cost now. Didn't think I'd be fighting two overseers at once. Luckily, I have just the thing. Oh no. Not the potion. Oh, fuck. We gave her that potion and we kind of fucked it up because we didn't care because she, she's kind of a bitch. The potion of power. Uh oh, this that's not going to be good. Thanks again for getting me this. I knew it would come in handy. Um... Yeah, I didn't think that would come bite me in the ass. Shit, they're clashing. <laughs> they didn't even notice us. They're fighting over what little space is left. Uh 
Uh oh. Whoa, three adv three achievements: blot out the sun, dark side of the moon, and two fur. Wait, she did it? Oh, they destroyed each other. Thanks, Vanster. That's really kind of you to say. Huh. Well, they destroyed each other, and she still got the achievements. So. Well, I guess I would. Guess I didn't need that potion after all. Okay, I guess it's gonna come bite us in the ass at a later time. Not much left here now. I guess you can still get your silly song thing, right? Can we, if they're dead? It's going to get much, much, much worse from here. Just so you know. The spirit world is almost completely collapsed. I thought we were like really close to the end. But apparently not. Apparently there's still a ways to go. I was supposed to kill all the overseers before this happened. But it's too late now. You don't belong in this story. <sighs> Bitch. Okay, how do we get the... Oh man, they're both dead. Thing is, we met like overseers early in the game. They were really nice, well, when they weren't corrupted. Miriam? Well, she got hit hard. Miriam! Are you okay? No. I mean, I'll be fine. But... I'm gonna lay here a bit. That's fair. Whoa, okay, so how does this work? Okay, what now? Oh, damn it. What now? Yeah, I'm kind of clueless about this. Oh, wait, hold on. Wait. I'm not sure what the order is. Hold on. Okay. Oh, okay. Did that. Okay, they're orbs now. What was that? Isn't it like a yes song or something? How do I, maybe if I just run off. Damn it, how do I, maybe if I walk or something? Oh, I know, just like this and then this and then, shit. Next one. God damn it. Okay, the spheres are getting pretty big. There we go. Wow, 
Sure looks different. Wow, holy shit. Yeah, this is bad. What do you think happened, Miriam? Miriam? Are you okay? Obviously not. Everything sucks right now. Well, I can carry you, Miriam. Aw. Damn, I can barely move, though. I can't jump. Can I dance? No, I can't really dance either. Hmm. The moon is moving away from the sun as well. Well, yeah, this is pretty bad. Where's your broom, anyway? We kind of need that. Hmm. Isn't it funny? Miriam? You're always carrying me around on your broom. But now I'm carrying you. <laughs> yeah, it's harder than it looks. Yeah, our barge isn't exactly... Didn't put all its points in strength. Or constitution, really. Oh, what's it gonna... oh, shit. Wow, that's a giant monster right there. Wait, is this after the invasion? I can't believe you really came here. Who is that? Even in the midst of this crisis, is your passion for war so deep? Oh, spare me. You came too. Yeah, those are like the really big monsters. Don't act like you're better than us. We thought there would be more of you. I, I think it's like the king and the queen or something. We have our hands full. There's an outbreak of giant monsters. Maybe you noticed? It is our burden as well. I mean, I'm guessing right now that those are the people. I got it right. Striking us during a disaster like this. Barbarians. <laughs> what a... No, we came because we knew you would. We're in a lot of trouble right now. The last thing we need is a bunch of lunatic witches attacking us too. Wait! Stop fighting! What's going on? Boss! Where did you come from? You shouldn't be out here. Hey, aren't you that peasant that I threw in jail? Um, you know this hooligan? They colluded against me with my daughter. My daughter who perished in your kingdom. We had nothing to do with that. But you turned the hero against us with those lies, leaving us alone in these, against these monsters. How dare you speak to me of lies? You people love your filthy animals so much. Perhaps you deserve to live with monsters. So you did set them loose on us. How dare you? Only a villain like you would think of doing such a thing. You think we're the villains? Lady? Oh shit, we got another song. Or... Oh. From east and west Our voices grow Into a sing I think it's like the overseers. We're all in pain. Our hearts are aflame with a burning need to end this. If 
then our one choice is clear and it's not this we can not watch any longer while Sorry, I'm probably butchering this. We share one world and share in one need to live in peace and harmony. Well, I tried, guys. <laughs> thank you, Aryan. Thank you, thank you. Tried very hard. Yeah, and I got so far, but in the end, it didn't really matter what. Are you in a new Aryan? Are you in the Discord group, by the way? Just an easier way for some people to like keep in touch instead of coming to the site whenever there is a stream, because that doesn't happen as often as it should, unfortunately. Hmm. You. You spoke with the voice of all the people in our two kingdoms. How is that possible? More importantly, do you really think singing some cheesy song telling us the war telling us the war is pointless with the voice of the people or whatever changes anything? Because let me tell you, yeah, I kind of did. I mean, I knew the war was hurting us, but I didn't realize how much. I thought it was good for everyone in the long run, but I guess in their hearts, nobody really wants it. Hearing their voices moved me. We failed those who needed us, especially of this moment of crisis. We can't afford to uphold this conflict. There must be another way to settle our differences. Yes! Yes! Wait, where's Miriam? Miriam? I'm over here. <laughs> Poor thing. <gasps> Miriam, you can walk! Barely. I just kinda hobbled over here. I thought I was good to go again, but I'm not. Listen, Enon. I don't think I'm gonna make it with you from here. What? I'm in no condition to fly you. And I don't know if you noticed, but things are getting bad. Bad? The spirit world just collapsed. Monsters are spreading everywhere. It's dangerous. The next next point will be the hardest yet. I don't think I can do it. And I'm worried about my grandma. I need to go home and rest. Oh. That's okay. I'll do it myself. Oh. You aren't upset? Well, 
Yeah, a little bit. I wish you could come. But you're right. You need to rest. And I need to keep going. Because we have to save the world. No matter what. Aww. I'm really gonna miss you, Miriam. Yeah. Me too. Ugh. I feel so useless. I came all this way. And in the end, I couldn't make it. That stupid hero is probably right. I really am a loser. Miriam! That's not even close. You're so much more than that. You can do a million things I can't. And even if you couldn't, you'd be special anyway. Aw. Gross. Hey! Do you two need help? No. Yes! We need to fly! Sure thing! Anywhere you want to go, we'll take ya! It's the least we can do. Anywhere, huh? I'll be okay, Miriam. I think. Okay. Good luck on your magical adventure. I'm going home. Tell your grandma I said hi. Yeah. You know the dialogue in this is really good. Like the, the way it's written. Hop on when you're ready. Hop on when you're ready. Well, I think, I'm well, I should probably talk to everybody first. Oh, Miriam, what's up with you? I wonder what Safi will think. Seeing me come home like this. I don't think she'd ever be disappointed in me. Or at least, never, she'd never show it. Why would she be disappointed? Because I failed. That's why. No way! Without you, we never would have made it this far. She'll be proud. I remember when you got hit by the hero's light lightning. I had no idea how bad it actually hurt. I was guilting you for not helping more. And for moping around so long. Sorry. It's okay. Do you really think you're gonna make it without me? I don't know if you're ready for what's ahead. Mount Icor is really deadly. Is it Icor or Ikor? I'm not sure. And now monsters are spreading everywhere. And you'll probably see the hero again, too. I'm worried about you. If it gets really scary, don't push it. Okay? Well, I'll try. But we have to do whatever it takes. Right? I wish we didn't. Okay, seriously. Goodbye. Get out of here before I change my mind. Aw. Hmm. Maybe your little song did channel the voice of our people. But it didn't speak for me. The witches are still a dangerous threat to us. We cannot just ease our guard against them. But they're just normal people. Hmm. Besides, deep down in your heart, wouldn't it be better if you didn't fight? No. Really? No. Really? No. You sure? No. But no. What if no? How about no? Even if no? Good! No. 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 Well. Alright. I see your point. Maybe yes. We have enough problems as it is. This is a cruel world we live in. Threats from every side. We aren't prepared to deal with monsters like this. You and your witch friend posed a huge threat to our kingdom. How the hero came to trust you is beyond me. 
but today you have helped us a great deal. I suppose. So I'll not attempt to capture you and take you back to prison as I previously planned to. Unless I ever see you again. Farewell, ruffian. Yeah, yes, he really is a dick. Always was kind of a stuck-up guy. Uh, like, you know. And oh, whatever, you get me. Yeah, so... Uh... Sorry I threw you in jail. Wait, no I'm not. You were really rude that one time. This is all a huge relief. I kind of forgot his voice, sorry. Well, kind of. We aren't fighting Chandish for now. But now there are giant monsters everywhere. We're not really better off. I always knew you were probably good. My kin seems really relaxed around you. Kin is like they're uh, bonded animals. Each one from Rule has one. Except this helper guy, I guess. But the king has the lion. Just kidding. He's always relaxed. He's just a big furry lump. You are good, though. Probably. After all this time... I did not realize how deeply the war was hurting me. And my people, too. Hala, wherever she may be now, I wonder if she can see this. I wonder if she is proud. Of her foolish old mother. There is so much pain we must heal. Our kingdoms have suffered long together. I worry I won't see us restored in my remaining lifetime. But I suppose that is my punishment for using my life to wage this war when I could have worked to end it. I hope my daughters will live to see a better world. Aw, this is kind of sad. Where's her daughters? Like, isn't... Didn't she come with anybody else? Yeah, exactly. She's the witch queen. From Chandish, and the other guy is the king from Rule. Uh, anything I might have missed up there? Hmm. Okay, I guess there's nothing inside to go back to. Oh, hey, Dunk. Oh, man. It really is. It's a great game. It really is a great game. It's just that uh, I was kind of thinking about stopping right now. Since I think we're going to finish the chapter, but we'll see. Probably because of the contrast, how funny it is the rest of the time. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I really wanted to keep going for longer, but like this chapter, like I thought it was pretty close to the end of the game, but apparently I'm not that close. Okay, I guess we're going. Oh. No, she has nothing to say to me. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Aryan, exactly. Well, yeah, it's the end of. We're starting to act. Act 6. There are seven overseers, there's probably seven acts, that's my guess. The beast at Icor Mountain. With a heart. Mm, 
I don't know, this was a really long act, actually. When did it save last time? Less than one minute ago. So I think this, so yeah. I think this is gonna be where I stop, just because I think, I, like I could keep going, but I'll never, I don't think I'll ever finish, like there's no chance I'll finish uh, this act on this stream, because I'll have to go eventually. And I think, I guess this is the best place to stop. But thank you for watching everybody. It was great actually to see everybody. It started really lonely, but uh, it's great to have people drop by. So thank you so much, everybody. Who's two overseas were in it? Possibly, yeah. It was like two worlds because there was like, there was double the content than usual. That's true. Because it was one kingdom and then the other one, uh, but still. No, it's not an Austrian game. I'm actually not sure what's the nationality of its creators. I only know that there's like three of them, but they have, I don't know, they have Christian names, I guess. They sound kind of American, but I don't really know. He looks a little Austrian. Maybe it was influenced by it, I don't know. Well, he's supposed to be a bard. So maybe it's just like based off of folklore, Austrian bards or something, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much what he looks like and because he's a little goof. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks again everybody. I'll try, like I said, I'll, tr I'll try to stream this again soon, like tomorrow or the day after or something. Actually tomorrow might have something, but I'll, tr I'll try to stream the this again uh, as soon as I can and not wait a couple of weeks again. Um, so yeah, thanks. Uh, I keep saying thanks, but really thank you guys. And uh, I'll try to be back tomorrow. If you can follow me on, I always publish on uh, Twitch and uh, and uh, Twitter and the SSH Discord when I'm about to start. So you can follow me there and you can also follow me on Twitch and YouTube to watch past streams of this game and others if you're interested. Uh, so that's great. It was great to see everybody. Good thing I had some, I could find some time on your end of the weekend. And uh, that's it. I don't know what to say. Oh, stick around, by the way, on Safety to Heroes. I bet like next or someone will stream some more Warcraft or um, Reddit Redemption or something like that. He probably will later. So stick around for that and I'll see you guys later. Take care. Have a great rest of the week or have a great week everybody and Marco.